An Apollo Beach woman is recovering in the hospital in Florida tonight after being stung by a stingray while wading into the water in Ruskin, Florida. Well, thankfully, she's alive here today. Fox's Matthew McClellan talked to her and has how this entire thing unfolded and what she wants you to know. If the first thing that comes to mind upon hearing this story is the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, his untimely death nearly 20 years ago, it is because that's how unusual it is to hear about upper body trauma, a puncture wound from the venomous spine of a stingray. This woman's name is Christy O'Brien. She's being treated at St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, calling this a freak accident and a warning for some viewers. You may find these pictures we're going to show you disturbing. To set the scene for you, it was Tuesday when O'Brien, with her husband, they were at Little Harbor in Ruskin. She said she wanted to cool off from the heat on Tuesday, so she wades into the water only about knee deep. When she leans back to wet her hair and shoulders, she reports feeling a sharp stabbing pain in her upper back. Then as she leans forward to get out of the water, her husband back on the beach, horrified by what he sees, a live stingray hanging by its tail from O'Brien's back, its venomous spine piercing her upper back more than four inches deep and missing her lung by mere inches. O'Brien knew not to agitate the animal by making any movements. Paramedics freed her using shears to cut the stingray at the base of its tail. It was terrifying, like feeling them cut it loose and then it like flipped away. Um, and at this point I started becoming hysterical. Um, just knowing that it was not alive on me anymore, but the barb was still in me. Um, it was it was quite terrifying. At the hospital, a trauma team carefully removing the spine. O'Brien now being treated for poisoning from the stingray's venom. She's on antibiotics to treat any possible bacterial infection from the very warm water. O'Brien says in the moment she was certain she was going to die, but that it was her husband who kept her from panicking. She's also thanking those first responders who came into the water to free her from that stingray. She says as a longtime Florida resident, she does plan on getting back into the water, maybe just not into the bay next time. Reporting from Ruskin, Matthew McClellan, Fox News. Wow. You know, th thank goodness her situational awareness and as you know, just kind of being aware and trying to stay calm. Her husband was there to help, but that is a very dangerous situation, although it is rare. So close to her lung. I thank know. goodness she's doing okay and able to talk and share her story. Wow. All right. Be careful when you guys try to cool off this summer.